Sound rolling. Camera one. Rolling. Camera two. Rolling. My name is Ana Lopez. I am a professor in the Department of Communication, Associate Provost of Faculty Affairs, and uh, the director of the Cuban and Caribbean Studies Institute here at the Stone Center for Latin American Studies. My main area of research is Latin American film and popular media, which is what I've been doing all my life. Um, my main duties at the university, while well, I wear a number of hats, uh, Associate Provost is a fairly, it's a, it's a bigger hat. My small, my cap is the directorship of Cuban and Caribbean studies. Not because it's a small job or an unimportant job, but it's because I have a very able associate director and because our activities with Cuba in particular have been somewhat curtailed by politics and by COVID. One or the other, one and the other. I arrived at Tulane uh, in 1985. I was just finishing my dissertation at the University of Iowa, so it was my first job search. Um, and um, when I went to the other institution where I had an interview, um, it was up in the north and there was six feet of snow, more or less. A couple of weeks later, I came down to New Orleans and it was March, it was 70 degrees, not a cloud in the sky, no humidity whatsoever. The azaleas were in bloom, and it was simply gorgeous. I was hired by the Department of Communication, which had just begun a couple of years before. It was a very, very young department. Uh, and in the interview process, I actually, because of my work on Latin America, I met with the then director of Latin American Studies, Richard Greenleaf. I only learned decades later that when I was hired, uh, the then chair of my Department of Communication made a deal with the Stone Center. So actually half of my salary was paid by Title VI until I got tenure. I had no idea. All I knew is that all of a sudden I was getting invited to all sorts of things Latin American. I was sort of like thrown into this community and I enjoyed it, I liked it, but I didn't know what it had to do with my job. It actually was 50% of my job, I didn't know. But throughout my career here, the Stone Center has supported my work, uh, provided for a for me to display and act in that work and, and, and bring uh, students and other faculty from other institutions to events they have supported me in organizing. But there is one in particular that is kind of funny. At the time I was an editor for uh, a journal uh, which was called um, Studies in, uh, in Popular Culture. And I organized a conference for that um, journal and um, our plenary speaker was Carlos Monsivais, and um, he arrived, and I had a graduate student picking him up in the airport. I get a call in the middle of something, in the middle of a presentation, and it's my graduate student who says, Anna, I can't find Monsivais. Se me perdió. And I'm going, no, se me perdió a mí. You find him, you have to find him. <laughs> get on the loudspeaker for the airport. There's people there that speak Spanish, if not, get them to give you the microphone and start calling for him. To make a long story short, he, he took a cab and went to the hotel, and finally we located him at the hotel. But I had a, about an hour of um, very uncomfortable thoughts about where Carlos Monsivais could be, and I had, you know, I would imagine this short little Mexican guy lost on Bourbon Street, you know, it was like a nightmare. Um, but th so that was pretty memorable. One of the things that I've appreciated the most over the years is that I was trained in a discipline. I was trained in film studies. I was not trained in Latin America. I am Latin American by birth, um, but that was an accident that occurred many years before I entered academia. So when I decided to work on Latin Amer American film at an institution where there was no one else working on Latin American film, and very few people working on Latin America actually, I had to cobble my knowledge of Latin America through very bizarre coursework. Here it was a complete opposite. There was nobody who did film, really, nobody trained in film, but there was this galaxy of brilliant Latin Americanists who had so much to teach me. And that is really the reason I've stayed at Tulane for my entire career. 
I was invited and offered positions at other institutions that had great strength in film, but very little in Latin American studies. And I've always felt that I didn't need more film. I have plenty. I needed the Latin American studies support system um, to sustain my own work. We're good? We're good. All right.